I'm Andrew Goslovich. Uh, we started Integrity Pro Roofing in 2012. Oh, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> so I was actually a carpenter for 10 years and I was in Minnesota and Wisconsin. And uh, in that part of the country, the carpenters did all the roofing. So I already did roofing, moved out here, tried to do a general contracting business out here. And uh, the markets were just so different. And so it was just a lot harder than I thought it would be to do just that. So anyways, ended up starting a roofing business based on that, just out of sheer needing to start something that's easier to build a business on. Uh, yeah, school of hard knocks, <laughs> straight up on that. Um, I, I took like one business class in college, the only one they offered. And uh, that was actually pretty instrumental. That's actually what started, planted the seed of like, oh, maybe, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, start my own thing was actually be kind of, could be interesting. And so that, that kind of started this idea. And that's what actually started to instill the idea of management and people in my mind. Uh, and and um, so that's, that's kind of what started me on that path. And then after that, I, mean, I just would read. Anytime I'd have problems, I would read, talk to people make a lot of mistakes and, and try to learn from those mistakes. But yeah, it was school of hard knocks and, all the way. And yeah, books that stand out. It depends on the time of what's going on. I would say the, the most fundamental and foundational as far as actually launching the business and structuring it and actually getting it to something to work with uh, were a lot of the books by Mike Michalowicz. Uh, Profit First was a really big one. Yeah. Fix This Next. Um, Pumpkin Plan. He's got a lot of different, a lot of different books, but all those were pretty instrumental in the very beginning. I mean, there's also Good to Great and all those other classic business books, but um, what actually, you know, moved it forward were the Michael College books in the company. Yeah, I think uh, so. I actually went to college to do like relief work and do international work, and um, that was what I was planning on doing with my life, and not staying in the construction industry. It just construction industry was a summer job for me and something I enjoyed doing. Uh, and so, uh, you know, I think that heart of wanting to have a bigger purpose, wanting to have reason behind what you're doing, why you're doing, day in and day out, the same thing over and over. Um, and for me, that's giving back to the community. And so, through that, that usually means partnering with some nonprofits or something like that that I that I um, like working with and really believe in what they're doing in the community. Uh, so that's kind of become a big part of why we do what we do in the company. It's actually one of our core values is give back. We're really about service. You know, we're in a service industry. And so what we tell our people is, you know, we are selling service. We're trying to wow people with our customer service. And so when we get into those, into those situations, it's really about what can we do to fix the problem, whether or not it's our fault or not. And sometimes that may look like we're just rolling over because we don't want to deal with the conflict. But um, you know, you're in customer service, you're in a people business. And so you really need to just look at that other person as a human being when you're talking to them, whether or not they're right or wrong, it really doesn't matter. You're just trying to fix the problem and fix the situation. Hey, my name is Ray Boyce. I work here at Integrity Pro Roofing as the head of operations and I have been here for three years. So my background has always been in small businesses and startups, so I've worked in a lot of different verticals and I had just finished a project with a mutual friend of Andrew and mine and I think Andrew at the time was looking for someone to kind of help him uh, kickstart kick some of his business, some operations, backend systems, processes and so uh, our mutual friend kind of referred me and we reconnected and the rest is history. I think you have to start at the baseline with where you're at at that moment in time, right? I think you have to start where you're at in that day, take a look at the overall picture of where the company is, the different parts of the company, and then start kind of, it's it's really kind of like putting together a puzzle piece, but I like to joke in operations, it's like the puzzle picture is always changing. So mm -hmm. you're trying to put a puzzle together, but it's just always morphing, and that's just the way operations is. Uh, so, uh, but I think you start with the, you know, the existing structure, uh, for us, it was starting to pull things out of Google Drive, you know, and assemble them into our CRM. And then from there, it was a day by day. Um, what do we need to do next to serve our customers better? And it has just grown and grown and grown. And, and anyone in operations will tell you, it's just a day by day evolving. Your structure will continue to evolve as you continue to hire your team and your team grows and changes and there's roles and there's better ways you can serve your customers. And that's something we're, we're really passionate about. What are the best ways we can serve our customers and over communicate. And so our systems have grown as we've started to look more into the future. How can we scale and grow and to continue to serve our, our customer base really well. 
Sure, I think that you should really look for someone who's very detail-oriented. <laughs> uh, but operations is tricky because you, you need someone who's detail-oriented, but you also need somebody who's able to step back and take a look at the big picture. So uh, I know there's we have friends in roofing companies and part of their questions that they ask is, you know, do you do you enjoy, you know, puzzles, for example? What what type of games do you like to play? You know, so if you've got somebody who really enjoys kind of those strategy pieces. Could be that that's going to be a good fit for your for your ops team, right? Because because there's so much strategy that that goes goes into that role. Uh, something that that is really important to us here is is making sure that we hire good human beings, right? And it's okay if we have to train them a little bit more in their role. We want people who are really have bring a lot of character uh, to the company, and and uh, I think our our team shows that really strongly. There's a lot of strong teamwork here. Um, everyone works really hard and. And um, I honestly think the people that you bring into your team is, is the most important part of your company. Mm -hmm. uh, that really kind of comes back to the integrity piece of our name, um, making sure that we're working with integrity, that we're doing the right thing, that we're not telling a customer they need a whole new roof when all they need is a $500 repair. And we've run into that quite, quite often with some of our customers. Um, just getting bad advice from other roofers. So all of those things are really important. It's really important for us to hire people who can get behind and who really um, live out those values in their own personal lives. Um, it's 100% the people, uh, whether that's the people on, on our team that I have the opportunity and the privilege to work with every day. Um, and it's also our customers. I think being able to build relationships with those with those people when you're providing such a, an important service, you know, we're, we're keeping them dry. <laughs> you know, we're keeping their, their biggest asset that they ever will probably own, you know, their, their home, their property. Um, we're keeping that protected. And I think it's just being able to, to make those connections with people and, uh, you know, continue, whether it, we do multiple projects for them or it's just the one, but we make that connection just on a human to human level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think that's my favorite part about roofing.